Now breaking news out of the State House, a new House Speaker has been elected. I hope someday to be Speaker of this House. I love this House. But I never expected such a stunning and rapid turn of events. Democrat Nicholas Mattiello now holds one of the most powerful positions in the state. This comes just five days after criminal investigators raided the home and office of his predecessor, Gordon Fox, who officially resigned from his post yesterday and was not present for today's vote. It was a landslide victory for Mattiello. His only opponent, Michael Marcello, called to concede this morning, but still submitted his name for nomination this afternoon. We have in-depth coverage tonight. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner is talking one-on-one -on -one with the new House Speaker. Ted Nisi is taking a closer look at Gordon Fox's sudden fall from the top. But first, Susan Campbell has details on Mediello's agenda that are new at 6. The House just adjourned here for the first time under the new House Speaker. Now, of course, less than two hours ago, Nicholas Mattiello was elected as the new House Speaker with 61 votes. The only other person who was nominated for the position, of course, was Michael Marcello. He got six votes. There were six abstentions and two no votes, including Gordon Fox, of course, the former House Speaker. Now, when Mattiello stood up as the House Speaker for the very first time, he started with, wow, thank you. He also took a few moments to talk about his plans for Rhode Island's economy. Take a listen. Having the highest unemployment rate in the nation is truly unacceptable. Business cannot and will not continue as usual. People want to work, and I am committed to collaborating with businesses to grow jobs and put people back to work. Please be assured that tackling the issue of jobs and the economy will be our top priority. You will hear more from the new House Speaker coming up at 6.30 over on our sister station at Fox Providence, so be sure to tune in for now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. Our in-depth coverage of this breaking news continues. We just spoke to newly elected House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, fresh off his landslide victory. The Cranston Democrat is telling us where he'll be looking first to make some changes. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner is live outside the State House with that interview that's new at 6. Mike and Kelly, that's right. We caught up just minutes ago with newly minted House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello in the Members Lounge. He continues to push the economy as his number one policy priority, even expanded into some areas of interest. We also went one on one with Mike Marcello as to what went wrong in his camp. I do believe that our regulatory process is too burdensome. I believe that some of our taxes make us less competitive regionally than we should be. So those will be places that we start looking, but I'm, I'm not making any determinations. I am uh, honored by the, the support, but I am the speaker of the entire House of Representatives, every member, and I will work closely and for every member of the House. It was an opportunity for us to really bring some major reform to this House. I hope he's committed to doing so. I know my team was committed to doing so, but at the end of the day, we just didn't have the votes. The institutional pressure of this building, people with jobs, people who have family working in the building, unbelievable pressure to switch votes, and that's exactly what had. I had nothing to give. I wasn't in leadership. I had nothing to give. All I had is a promise of good government, and unfortunately that failed today. Was there something out of this process that left a bitter taste in your mouth? Um, yeah, inability some, from some people to keep their word. Yeah, clearly disappointed. Mark Mar Mike Marcello talking to us just a little bit earlier. We also want to bring you some breaking news as it pertains to House leadership. As promised, Majority Leader will be Representative John D. Simone. As Majority Whip, Representative Jay Edwards, and taking up his responsibilities as Deputy Whip, Representative Joe Almeida. That just coming into us. Stay tuned for committee leadership. But we are told at this point, it's our understanding that no more announcements connected uh, to those types of leadership positions today. Live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.